Hi, I'm Malia DeVivo. I'm the ungulate research scientist for the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. And today I'm here to demonstrate how to take the lymph nodes for chronic wasting disease testing. CWD is a prion disease of deer, elk, moose, and caribou. And to learn more about CWD, you can visit our WDFW website. Anytime you're field processing or taking a CWD sample, we highly recommend wearing some sort of glove uh, to protect yourself. You can just use any sort of knife. So here I'll, I'll be demonstrating with a scalpel, but you can use your hunting knives. Um, any sort of uh, knife is, is perfectly fine for this. And then I will also be using forceps to help me grab the tissue. But again, um, you don't need this, this tool. I, I'm going to use it so that uh, you can see exactly what I'm doing. So what you're gonna wanna do is first cut uh, the neck just behind the jaw. So you, you'll feel the jaw and then aim for a line that um, is right behind the ear. So just ha like how this head is cut off. Um, because those uh, lymph nodes that we're targeting sit right behind the windpipe. So on this one, it's really nice to see they're both right here. Um, the most important part is not that you keep this lymph node all together. The important part is actually that you get all of it. So I'm actually going to cut into it so you can see what lymph node looks like compared to the surrounding tissue. Before I had cut it in half, um, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of P-shaped or kidney-shaped. Um, and, and when I touch it, it's harder than the surrounding tissue. Uh, we really would like to test both lymph nodes, so, so grabbing both lymph nodes is preferred, but if you can only grab one and, and just part, uh, and let's say you can't grab all of it, um, we'd still appreciate having that sample submitted. So I'm going to demonstrate um, a slightly different way on how you can collect the lymph nodes from the neck. Um, it's just based on preference and how you're you'll be able to um, better visualize those lymph nodes. So you'll notice um, it has several more inches of neck still attached. So if you're collecting your own sample, again, you can just cut right along that jawline and search around. If you're just bringing in a head to have that, one, that sampled, we recommend cutting it uh, and leaving two to three inches of neck still attached so that we can make sure that those lymph nodes are still in the head. So you want to find that windpipe and remember that those lymph nodes are going to be located at 10 and 2 o'clock. But again, we have quite a bit of neck still, so we have to dig further down towards the head, the base of the skull, to find those lymph nodes. So this method, what you do is you, t you get that windpipe in your hand and you pull up and you take your knife and you're just going to keep cutting behind the windpipe towards the, the head. But when I've cut all the way down to as far as I can, again, windpipe was here, I peeled that back, those lymph nodes actually pop right out right here. So again, 10 and 2 o'clock, and I can see nodules popping out. When I extract one, so let's go ahead and extract one. See, and I cut a little bit into it, so that's okay. I just want to cut, make sure I get all of it. And so if I cut into this lymph node, but it's ki kind of kidney shaped, it's all one solid piece. It doesn't have a lot of segments like salivary gland will. And again, it has kind of that sheen, that glossy, shiny look to it. So right on the other side should be the second lymph node. So again, pull pull back on the windpipe. I actually use my fingers a lot to try to find that, that nodule that I'm looking for. It's hard to see, I know, um, just with all this uh, clotted blood, but that's part of it. It's hard to tell, I know, um, I, but I promise when I feel this, it feels a lot like this. It's, it's, again, more solid than the surrounding tissue. 